name is Alex. Um, after spending a couple of years in consultancy, I decided to get over and uh, try to do some things by myself rather than just writing PowerPoints and Excel. Uh, we started a company with a friend of mine from Accenture back in 2015 in the insurance space. It's called Lean. Um, Unfortunately, we are one of the very few insurtechs in Switzerland, I have the impression, so compared to the proportion of the GWP, what insurance brings into the Swiss economy, I think we have lots more space for insurtechs to start in Switzerland. So everybody who wants to start an insurtech, be my guest, I'm happy to give you my 50 cents on that. Um, yeah, what we are doing is um, we, we run a software where we link insurance product or where we, where we create new insurance product together with primary and, and reinsurance companies and we link them into ecosystems. Uh, why do we think this is needed? As you all know, insurance is all a very traditional system, so the distribution is mainly done by uh, tight agents, some, sometimes with brokers. Uh, and if we, everybody is talking about ecosystems and digital distribution channels, I think there are not that many insurance companies out there who are ready to serve those digital distribution channels and ecosystems with the right products at the point of need, instantly. So that's our sweet spot. Uh, you sound very friendly at the moment. Um, I remember when you started off, you were more of a challenger or a disruptive kind of a startup, right? Has that changed? It sounds like that's changed. Can you tell us? Uh, yeah, so um, of course, in the back in the 2015s, um, it was, uh, we, we thought, yeah, now let's, we're gonna rock this place and we're gonna um, take a chunk of, 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 of the business away from traditional tight agents and brokers and we bring it all to our platform and we run a B2C business, which was not working that way. So we were pretty blunt in that respect. So uh, we, we switched over to B2B2C and now we are um, still trying to challenge traditional distribution approaches with a digital uh, with our digital solutions that we are offering but we it, it definitely i think it's not only true for anivo but also for for other startups i think switzerland as a market is is, is, is a bit too small mm -hmm. to start attacking the incumbents to start off your own insurance company we have not seen apart from Dextra, we have not seen many new insurance companies coming to Switzerland. We have not seen many new banks as a full stack bank coming to Switzerland. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why many of our, of my Swiss colleagues in the, insure, in the fintech business also switched away from being an attacker to help or being a bridge builder, if you want to call it a way. Excellent. What are some of the areas of uh, the industry in Switzerland? that you, you mentioned there aren't a lot of insure techs yet. Do you think there are some areas of opportunity that seem obvious or that have been exploited in other parts of the world but not yet here? In, in terms of the in, in, in within the insure tech area? Yeah. I mean, yeah, of course. I think in Germany, so if we focus on, on the on the on continental Europe for instance, which I know to some extent, I think we have seen lots of in Germany we have seen lots of InsurTechs coming up as a full stack insurer with their own license. Mm -hmm. We have also seen some movements from, for instance, um, um, GetSafe, who was a digital broker like Anivo was, like Knip was, like WeFox was, like Clark was, moving away from them to become a full stack insurer. I think these are the models in Germany. As I said in Switzerland, we have made our math, doesn't work out for us. Uh, I think we are, we, we are seeing in the UK, for instance, which is a very vital market when it comes to insurtech or insurance, we have seen lots of MGAs, so managing general agencies, who do everything except of the regulatory stuff, which is done by a reinsurance carrier or, or by a primary insurance carrier who offers the insurance license to some other companies. We have not seen MGAs here in Switzerland, which I think is a very attractive one. So I think the MGA model as a, as a conceptual framework for InsurTech, I think that would be an interesting one. I think I'm very happy that we see like VIAC, who deals, and also their colleagues from FLOT, who deal with more on the life side and on the pension side. Mm -hmm. I think this is something that has been a little bit left out in the past. So I think yeah, pension, health, 
uh, and not only doing in a brokerage um, business, but also in a, as an MGA model. I think that would be interesting. In my view, the really interesting piece is happening in, in China, in Asia. Yeah. So if you look at, at, the, at the guys at Ping An or at what, what Song An is doing there, that's really remarkable. Um, the numbers are huge. They, how they integrate insurance in their WeChats, uh, Tencent stuff, so in their ecosystems, they're creating a, I mean, they are like Apple for the entire fin finance ecosystem, right? So yeah. they built a big, big guard around it, and you can do everything within this app, with their products, with their financial products, credit, loans, insurance. That's really remarkable. We haven't seen something like this here in Europe, nor in the US. Yeah. Well, thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it.